All right, so welcome to the training on grains. Today we're gonna to be talking about grains, their sources, as well as smart um, sources of carbohydrates. So the primary macronutrient in grains is carbohydrates. So that's very important to know. We wanna remember that. Um, let's look through this together. So whole grains, for something to be considered a whole grain, it has to have the three things, the bran, the endosperm, and the germ. So that's three parts of the whole grain. Things that are refined grains do not have all of these together. They only have the endosperm. The bran and the germ are taken out, so they don't have what's left, which usually will give you fiber as well as um, heart healthy fats and a little bit of protein too. So whole grains are going to be oats, quinoa, barley, rice, bulgur, millet. Those are gonna be the main whole grains. So refined grains, they are processed. So think of like your breakfast cereal as a refined grain. They're not a whole grain because they've had went through that refining process, which has removed the bran and the germ. So all you have left is the endosperm. You're going to be able to figure out if you're getting a whole grain. Um, when you look at something and the first ingredient is gonna be whole wheat flour or whole grain flour. So that's gonna be the number one thing on an ingredients tax panel when you're looking to make sure you're getting a whole grain product whole wheat flour, whole grain flour. You'll also see a little um, yellow and black stamp on there too, which will tell you if it's a whole grain or not. Whole grains are rich in B vitamins like riboflavin, niacin, and folic acid. That's our primary source of these. And when uh, you have a refined grain, they actually have the B vitamins added back in. So enrichment means the it's processed, refined, and then the whatever was there was added back in. So the B vitamins are added back in. Um, that's very important to know that a lot of our breakfast cereals, that's not the naturally occurring B vitamins that are in there. Those vitamins are added back in due to that refinement process, which breaks down the grain and all you have left is that endosperm. So how much do we need? We should get about half of our overhaul um, carbohydrates in through whole grains, about 50% of our calories, and that's going to be about six to eight servings of grains a day. So a serving of grain is going to be like a fourth of a cup of rice, a half a cup of pasta, one slice of bread. It is not like a giant plate of pasta or anything like that. It's going to be smaller what an actual portion size is, and we're going to go over that too in future modules. So just keep that in mind. Half of our overall carbohydrate intake should be from grains the best source of carbohydrates there. They're gonna help with our activity um, and energy levels too. Fiber is also just found and in fruits and vegetables too, but primarily found in whole grains. Women need 25 grams a day, men need 38 grams a day. So fiber is a huge benefit of eating whole grains, which is going to keep us regular. We talked about this in the how to read a food label module. So now we're going to go over the smart sources of carbohydrates. So let me get this bigger. All right, so as we said, quinoa is a great source of carbohydrates. 21% um, of the macronutrients is carbohydrate value. Um, because there is um, protein and fiber in there too, it's gonna have better blood sugar control than if you were going to eat pasta. Another healthy whole grain or, or grain is going to be oats, as well as buckwheat. So these items are going to be shared with you also. You'll find these in your Google Drive folder. Bananas are another really good source of carbohydrates too. They have a lot of other micronutrients in them as well, like potassium, B6, vitamin C. Sweet potatoes are another good source of carbohydrates too. They have fiber in them and a really good vitamin A, um, amount of vitamin A in them. Beets are a great source as well as oranges, blueberries, grapefruits, apples, and kidney beans. So these are all considered good sources of carbohydrates. You'll find these in your Google Drive so you can read through them and about all of their positive effects. But all of these are gonna have fiber in them. All of them are gonna help with satiety, better blood sugar control than if you went and had something that's gonna be a simple carbohydrate. So that's the quick training on grains. I hope you guys got a lot out of this. I'll see you in the next module.